Here, also aspire other dreams. But for some reasons, or whatever reasons, chose to pursue other dreams. And I want to remind everyone here that those reasons should not be invalidated just because of how most of us define the term dreaming or ideals about dreaming. Well, normally, a speaker would tell us, dream big, chase your dream, live with your dreams, for there is no impossible to the one who is dreaming. Maybe it's about time to live with the reality and stop romanticizing the idea about dreaming and start accepting the fact that not all of our dreams are meant for us. If that one dream is not meant for me or is not meant for you, let us allow ourselves to feel the pain, the sadness, and disappointment for those things we're, on, we're also essential elements for us to be strong, to be brave, and be grateful. Do not settle for a single dream. But if it comes to the point that you fail to achieve that dream, your whole world will fall apart and live a miserable life. Allow yourself to dream more and work for your dreams. And if one won't, won't work for you, you have the choice. And yes, you always have the choice. So always choose to continue dreaming, to dream a million dreams. Moving on, let us have the second and the third piece. I had been in the verge of losing myself and losing my reasons of why to continue. For whom? But upon hearing the hurtful hurtful words of belittling from other people, especially underestimating my parents, about our status in life, about the idea of, I can't make it to college, kay kami pobre. We are less fortunate. And of course, seeing the hard works and sacrifices of my parents, I have regained my reasons to continue. And finally today, I mean tonight, my family will have its first college graduate. Pagpursige tagpagtuod. The second and the third piece. Padayon sa pagpursige tagpagtuod. To pursue is a power. And to believe is to empower. Believing in yourself is not just actually for yourself. It's for every person who inspired and helped you, as well as for every person you will inspire along your journey. Whenever we find out that someone believes in us, we felt empowered, we are motivated, and we are fueled with faith and hope to continue moving forward. Knowing this pioneering class of K-12 program, the class of 2022, I truly appreciate the meaning of courage, bravery, determination, resiliency, and hope, and might include the power of cramming and the pressure, pressure of deadlines. We are indeed the men and women of courage, the resilient graduates. Being the first batch to experience the big changes in the curriculum was not easy. We have experienced so many inflection points, hindrances, turmoils, and uncertainties that challenge our dispositions, decisions, actually our complete system. When COVID-19 global pandemic strikes, everything has been very unusual. Our daily routines has been greatly affected, as well as our health security and jobs. Pandemic made a great gap on the students' learning. It was truly a challenge for both teachers and students to little by little cope with the new normal. 
cope with the new educational delivery mode of learning. It was terrible and hopeless to the point where we doubted ourselves and we almost gave up. But today, I want to congratulate every graduate, every one of you with extra pound, because when life threw, throws hundreds of reasons to give up, we chose to believe, to pursue, and to continue. The four P's of Padayon. Pagdamgo, pagpursige, pagtuod, and finally, the last P, pagpasalamat. Tonight, we are about to reap the fruit of our hard works, our dedica dedication and perseverance. We are about to taste and savor the succulent sweetness of our hard-earned diploma. This is the perfect moment for us to reminisce our exciting and tough journey. Our sleepless nights, taking terrible exams and quizzes, our stressful days because of loaded paperwork have finally paid off. Truly, it has been a great ride with so many exciting parts, ups and downs and turning points. This is also the perfect time for us to think and thank the people we've met along that ride. With that, allow me to extend my sincerest gratitude to our Almighty God for the knowledge and wisdom, for the strength and peace of mind, for His graces and blessings, and for the courage to continue that has been a great driving force for me to finish this far. I also want to take this moment para magpasalamat sa aton mga ginikana na adisugan tag sa mga di nakakadi. Aram ko na usad kamo sa pinakamasadya na tawo sugan an makita an iyo mga anak na magapaso tag magatapos sa kolehiyo. An iyo pagal kapoy tag mga sakripisyo nagbunga na tag wara na sayang sa akon ginikanan kay papa tag kay mama na nagpagal na para ako makatapos ang iyo sakripisyo tag pagal ano sad sa mga naging inspirasyon ko para maniguro sa pagklase saksi ako kung gaano kalisod ang naging buhay ta tag kung paano nyo kinaya na mapaklase ako bisan kita pobre Ako dili kinapoy sa pagaklase kay kamu waraging kapoy sa pagpaklase sa akon. Damo-damo na salamat especially sa mama ko na disugod kahit medyo ginahapo. Natapilo pa kanya tag na na utodaya sanda. Sa akon mga ate po na nagsuporta tag nag tag nagtiwala na kaya ko kay ate Pane, kay ate Bimbem, tag kay ate Nan, damo-damo na salamat sa iyo. I also want to, to extend my deep sense and profound gratitude to the Debesim Scott for shaping the mind of every student by providing a very welcoming atmosphere that allows us to showcase our strength and develop our capabilities. This institution helped us to be independent and to, be, and to have these positions Truly, this wonderful place became our haven, our training ground, and forever be a home for us. To my former teachers and to my instructors, you all have been a great part of my journey. Thank you for molding and honing my mind, my character, and equipping me with enough knowledge and values that will be in a great use in my future career. To my classmates, the BS Ed Math family, I am happy to be in a room where everybody is supporting the growth of everyone. We share depressing moments stressing math quizzes and exams. We shared laughter and worth to remember experiences and memories. To our Kuya Abraham, 
na wara sugad sa amo nakaupod sa pagapaso. Your math family were so proud of you. Ikaw ang patunay na waran ginakilala ni edad ang edukasyon. Thank you, math family. Thank you all for the teamwork and collaboration. To my friends, wala may nag-react, mga fake friends. My heartfelt appreciation. Thank you for being there through my lowest and highest points, for lending an ear to listen to my little dramas in life and lifting me up when I need it the most. And to my fellow graduates from the main campus and Kawayan campus, the best in Scott class of 2022, my warmest congratulations. This is it. We've made it. With honors or not, all of us deserve to be congratulated with extra ounce. Tomorrow, we are no longer college students. Kita ang una na mga unemployed. But may we all continue to be learners. It's our time to put our fingerprints, create and leave our marks, and be the agents of change and have impacts in our community. Let's take an active part on realizing our alma mater's vision and mission. I know that the life after college will not be easy. It will be a tough battle. But let us not dreaming and let us not be carried away by our doubts and securities and fears. May we all be reminded that no one get into the point of success without crossing the road of failure. The four P's of Badayon. Pagdamgo, pagpursige, pagtuot, tagpagpasalamat. Kita mga padayon sa pagdamgo, pagpursige tag pagtuod. Kita magpadaya, magpadayon sa pagpasalamat sa mga tao na magiging parte sa aton pagalakaton. Naway tayong lahat ay piliin ang magpatuloy, patuloy sa pangangarap, pagpursige at paniniwala. Patuloy sa pasasalamat sa mga tao magiging bahagi ng ating panibagong paglalakbay. Again, pagbati mga scholar ng bayan. Congratulations, dear resilient graduates. Congratulations, class of 2022. And may we all padayon. Thank you very much. Mr. Danilo de la Peña for that words of gratitude. Next off is the Pledge of Loyalty to the Alma Mater to be led by Dr. Sherwin E. Balbuena, Doctor of Education and Educational Leadership, to be followed by the Oath of Membership to the Debesumscat Alumni Association to be led by Mr. Noel S. Rap Singh, President, Debesumscat Alumni Association. My fellow graduates to rise. Please uh, raise your right hand and repeat after me. We, the graduates of the Dr. Emilio B. Espinosa Sr. Memorial State College of Agriculture and Technology. Having this day received our diplomas and certificates,
do solemnly pledge that we will live up to the expectations of our alma mater. We promise to perform well in our respective areas of concern in the technical and professional fields attain excellence and become globally competitive by developing virtues expected of us. As products of this beloved state college and as citizens of the Republic of the Philippines, we will always nurture the hopes of our fatherland by becoming responsible citizens of our beloved country. To our beloved alma mater, we pledge, therefore, our undying loyalty and gratitude. So help us, God. Good evening, graduates. Kindly raise your right hand and follow after me. I, your name, please. A graduate of the Dr. Emilio B. Spinoza Senior Memorial State College of Agriculture and Technology. Do hereby solemnly swear to faithfully and conscientiously fulfill my duties and responsibilities. to the DeBesmscat Alumni Association to advance and uphold the name and ideals of which my alma mater stands to do justice and pledge myself to the service of the country so help me God in behalf of the DeBesmscat Alumni Association's members, officers, and board of directors, our warmest congratulations to all of you. May we request the graduates to please take a seat. So supposedly, Attorney Septon de la Cruz will be gracing our occasion. However, because of his prior commitment, he was not able to come to our commencement exercises. So we shall be listening to the congratulatory message from Attorney Septon de la Cruz to be played in the canvas for two minutes.
for having been there for you in your journey through life. I wish you all the best as you hold on to your quest. God bless you all. Congratulations. So before we shall have the singing of the Philippine National Anthem, there is a request from the Buffalo Radio from the Besam Scott team rather. There is a request from the Buffalo Radio requesting everyone to kindly use your flashlights in your cell phones. Pakipailaw po ng mga flashlights ninyo para sa isang drone shot and then paki wave wave daw po. Ah, pwede kayong tumayo para mas maganda.
Okay, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong kooperasyon. Uh, please remain standing. Let us all together sing the The Besam Scott Hymn. And after which, kindly remain standing for the exit of colors by the The Besam Scott ROTC officers. Ladies and gentlemen, the exit of colors.
This concludes our 27th commencement exercises. Thank you very much for being with us and celebrating one of the most important milestones in the lives of our students. To the graduates and their parents, congratulations to all of you. To the Debesenska teaching and non-teaching staffs, guests, our SUK president, our commencement speaker, our sincerest gratitude, and appreciation for your support. Ladies and gentlemen, the recessionals, by the Mace Bearer, the Grand Marshal, the SUC President Three, the Commencement Speaker, members of the Board of Trustees, guests, teaching and non-teaching staffs, and the graduates. Thank you. 